Hello and welcome back to another studio vlog. Today I have done so much painting and I've also done some printing as well. I have had this like little pot in my studio like on my desk for such a long time it was originally blue well actually before that it was black and then I painted it blue because I wanted to like brighten up the space a little bit and I just didn't feel like it was fitting with the room anymore if you didn't know my like studio desk is in my living room it's like part of my living space and I feel like since I painted it blue a really long time ago I have been like feeling that it looks really out of place and I've wanted to change it for a while so today I just decided that I was going to paint it and I've been really liking the kind of trend of checkered things or like yeah I guess it's checkered or like tiled things at the moment so I decided to paint this like a pink and white check design and I really like how it turned out I think it fits with the space so much better than the blue you can kind of see like the blue still on the inside and I did eventually paint this pink and I just put my pens and things back in it and I think it looks really really good I've also been working on this lino print for the past couple of days and I really wanted to get it finished. Um, I only had a little bit of carving left to do so I finished carving out the moon of this design. I did want to do another lino print with text on, I haven't done one of those for quite a while so I decided I was going to do that with this one. If you are carving text on lino always remember that when it's on the lino it needs to be backwards so it does print the right way around. At first when I started lino printing I found this so difficult to get my head around but now it's just kind of second nature to me and when I draw out the design and then if I'm going to trace it onto the lino it's just like automatically the like the wrong way around on the lino if that makes sense um probably not but anyway um so this block has been inspired by the idea of like looking after the planet I did already the protect the planet print so this in a way is like a follow-on to that it's about being kind to like nature and everything on the planet and I just really really like the meaning behind this print When it came to printing this block, I didn't want to just test print it in black or like a boring colour so I decided that I was going to mix a colour together and whenever I like to mix a colour I like to use white for the base. I find that this just helps the colours to mix together really nicely. Then so I was using the opaque white from Cranfield colours and I have them all in a safe wash relief ink so I can wash them with soap and water but they are oil based inks they're just my absolute favourites so I also used a tiny bit of the rubine red this is so pigmented so you really don't need to use a lot and then I used the I think it's called the bright orange or the light orange or something I can't exactly remember to create this really nice peachy colour that I used to test print this block I just love these inks so much, I think the colour payoff is amazing, they're so pigmented and they mix together really really nicely, they go onto the lino block so nicely, honestly they are my favourites, I really do like them and they're always my go to inks.
when it actually came to printing this block I wasn't totally convinced on the colour that I had chosen I think it's slightly too orangey and it does look a bit of a weird colour on the paper I'm just not like a massive fan of it I think it needs to be either a little bit more peachy or a little bit more orange just to make it, the colour of it a little bit nicer because it does seem kind of like muddy but that's something that I'm going to work on when I print this again I also have been loving just doing some painting at the moment, just either painting from like pictures that I've taken on my phone or just from my mind really. I just find it such a therapeutic thing to do. Um, I don't do the paintings to like try and sell them or anything, it's just purely for like because I really enjoy it. So. Today I was using a photo reference of some flowers in a field that I took when I was on a walk by the canal that's near my, well, like where I live and it was, it's just honestly the nicest photo. I love the colours in it and everything so much. And I did a painting, I think it was like a couple of weeks back now of some tulips and ever since then I have literally been so inspired to keep painting just because of the way that it makes me feel. I find it so therapeutic and I really, really enjoy it. I'm definitely not the best at painting and I do just do it because I really enjoy it. I find it is such a peaceful activity. It's so relaxing for me and I try not to take it too seriously. My lino prints are like quite planned out and I do take them a little bit more seriously. So painting for me is such like a free art form and I really just like to use it to relax and like express myself in a different way. It's such a different medium from printing and I love being able to like use both and create artwork from painting and also from printing as well. For this painting I was just using some acrylics that I had, I do really want to also get some gouache and try that out, I think that that would be really fun as well. But I just want to reiterate again, like painting is just something that I do for fun, I do it for myself and I just wanted to like take the time to do a painting of some flowers in a field and I just feel like it's a really nice way to like for me to relax and spend my time. Overall I wasn't super pleased with how the painting turned out or how it was going to be honest but it was just a really nice relaxing thing to do and I think it's a really nice way to spend my time. Also with my paintings I try not to be super detailed and go for more of like a free approach to painting. Um, this is just personally like the style that I really like when I'm looking at paintings and it's also I find it's more relaxing for me than trying to do like a hyper realistic painting. I think this fits a lot more with my kind of painting style and my art style in general because I don't like to be super precise with my lino prints either and it's just what works best for me and what I enjoy the most. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching me paint and print today. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you really soon with a new video.